Joel for you. Now, you might have seen a dark blue Jaguar with the registration number CAN1 driving around Northampton recently. It's the pride and joy of Canada's High Commissioner, Gordon Campbell, who was in the town at the invitation of local MP Michael Ellis. Mr Campbell started his visit with a trip round cab seating on Northampton's round spinny industrial area. And guess what? Our Willie Gilder tagged along too. <laughs> Um, my name's David Hale. I'm the sales and marketing director for Cab Seating. We've got a turnover of around £50 million pounds a year, and we make over a quarter of a million seats a year. Seats for trucks, tractors, con big construction machine, and deluxe office chairs. And we're surrounded by them here. You've even got some military applications. Yes, that's right. We currently supply seats for the driver, applications in scout cars, that kind of thing. But we've got developments underway for bomb blast seats for the crew members of... Uh, uh, where, where our troops are out in Afghanistan, those kind of places. We've just been seeing around your factory really genuinely making things in Northampton. Exactly. You must get fed up when people say nothing's made in Britain anymore. Exactly. We, we, we have over 300 employees here. We make over a quarter of a million seats, as, as I said. And we've been in Northampton since 1968. And in that time, we've made nearly about 15 million seats. By definition, you will be reliant upon the fortunes of the rest of the industry, particularly the vehicle industry. How are things looking at the moment? Um, they're not too bad at the moment. They're probably the, the, We export to over 40 countries, so we're not dependent on one particular country. 80% uh, of our production goes abroad, uh, and it goes to different sectors. At the moment, probably the weather is the, the thing that will change our fortunes the most, because farmers can't get out on the land, construction uh, equipment operators aren't using it because of the snow uh, and, and as soon as the weather picks up we think Europe in particular will be pretty good. We've got your member of parliament here. What's the message to the government about support for business? Uh, support uh, manufacturing companies. Do what he's doing today. Come and visit us. Fly the flag with government ministers and make sure that we, we are looked after uh, you know, to develop products for the future. This is Gordon Campbell, who's the High Commissioner for Canada. Um, why come to Northampton? Well, I, I was talking with Michael, and he said you should come and see what we're doing. I'm glad I did, because you've got uh, a really, I think, a very strong revitalization process here. I think you see that in this, this particular company, where they're oriented to their customer. They're coming up with top flight design, top flight manufacturing. It's the kind of thing that we need to build a stronger economy, not just for Canada, but for the United Kingdom. They've actually made you a special Canadian chair. They did. It's a beautiful chair, red and white, with a gorgeous red maple leaf on it. It's, it's the kind of chair a high commissioner should sit in. That's exactly what I mean. Customer, if you take care of your customer, the customer takes care of you. I guess if you ask people about Canada, they'll talk about I don't know, the climate and the scenery. They won't necessarily talk about industry. What is industry in Canada? Oh, well, we're probably one of the world's largest energy uh, delivers of energy, uh, both traditional energies and, uh, you know, new environmental technologies and energies. Uh, we've got incredible uh, opportunities in natural resource development in Canada, uh, the mining industry, agriculture industry. And Canada, it's, it's the, the cultural, historic, and economic connections between Canada and the United Kingdom that really, I think, make this a partnership that sings. Uh, we are, uh, Britain is one of Canada's largest uh, in direct investors into Canada. Canada's one of Britain's largest direct investors. Of course, you're getting a new Canadian that is coming over to the United Kingdom to uh, head up the Bank of England. Uh, the head of the Royal Mail right now is a Canadian. The head of Heathrow Airport right now is a Canadian. If you want to take the train from London to Paris, you're going to be going along a rail bed that's owned by Canadian pension companies. Uh, and, and certainly people have talked very much about Canada having turned its economy around and having a, a, a big deficit. Can right. we learn from the way that that's been done, do you think? I think there's lots of lessons we can all learn from one another. Uh, it, certainly, I think the, the key thing is you've got to keep focused on your objective. Uh, it's never easy. The road is always tough. It was difficult in Canada as we went through that. Uh, our government is very focused on making sure that the economy is the foundation upon which all of the other benefits that we live with are, is built. And I think that there's lots of 
um, agreement between the government of the United Kingdom and the government of Canada about how we have to go forward. And is it true that you've come to Northampton because we've got such bitterly cold weather and that makes you feel at home? No, it was because you had such warm hospitality and that made me feel at home. <laughs> the uh, Canadian High Commissioner, how about that? And cab seating, astounded by the statistics as to how many seats they've made over the time. It's, it's into millions now, just incredible. There you go. And uh, a great local success story that we love, of course, uh, no end. Um, we're heading off very shortly to uh, Martin for the latest news and the sport, of course, the weather and the travel to come your way. But first of all, uh, thanks for the emails this morning. This from Barbara. Morning, Barbara. She says, hi, Sadders, can you please mention that the Kettering and Lonstein Twinning Committee will be holding a coffee morning at the Toller Church Rooms meeting laying off Gold Street Kettering on Saturday the 13th.